Hello YouTube. In this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a really quick demonstration on drawing uh, water running down the side of a face. But um, I'm just going to use a very small section of the drawing because of time restraint. And as another uh, disclaimer, is I'm going to be rather going through this very quickly. Uh, I could spend a lot of time, I could spend hours on details and uh, I don't really have hours to, to do um, these kind of demonstrations, for example, but I can spend enough time to roughly go through and just show uh, how to go about, uh, you know, for example, drawing water going down the side of the face. And this is to help out uh, one of our group members on the Ricks Can Do It Realistic Drawing uh, group on Facebook. Uh, so what I'm going to do here real quick is I've cut out the um, the printout of just the section of the face and I'm going to tape it down here so that it doesn't move. Now normally when I am drawing uh, something in realistic, photorealistic um, uh, type of a drawing, I usually use uh, like for example the grid method along with my proportional divider. Uh, to get all the details exact and so forth. In this case, I'm going to, for the most part, freehand this uh, with the exception of I'm, I'm going to uh, measure the actual square or rectangle here, uh, for example, uh, that I'm going to be uh, drawing from. And I'll use my proportional divider uh, in a couple of places just to get an idea that I'm in the right area for the uh, water drips that are going down the side of the face. Uh, but other than that, I am just going to go ahead and freehand this because it's just a rough demonstration. And I just want to kind of show uh, how I would go about drawing uh, water for the most part. But again, as a disclaimer, I, I do have to say though that I would normally spend way more time in getting all my details exact, uh, going for that real uh, photorealistic look. Uh, but in this particular demonstration, I just need to uh, demonstrate the process. And then all it is is a matter of uh, making small adjustments and so forth. So I'll get close uh, to achieving uh, a good look on the, on the water running down the face here. Uh, it's just so that I can show um, the artist, uh, the member artist, as to how I would go about doing this. And I'm filming this, of course, so that others um, like yourself could, could see how I would go about doing something like this, how you can go about doing something like this. And it really comes down to just looking at the tone differences and making sure that you get those in there. So in this case here, I'm going to go ahead and start speeding this up uh, and then I will just start narrating uh, as we go along. Okay, now here is one of those places where I thought I'd use my proportional divider just so I had the spacing correct. But again, here you can see that um, for the most part I'm freehanding, just kind of eyeing the reference photo and, and drawing what, what I think I see. And hopefully what I think I see is what's really there. Uh, I'll try to get as close as I can. I am really rushing. Uh, I know that this is in fast motion, but even in regular motion, I am really um, kind of in a hurry for the most part. And um, I do apologize for that, but you know, time is limited. If I have to um, do a photorealistic example for for every uh, request that comes in, I uh, it would just be impossible for me to do because I, I get a, a, a lot. And then I, of course, have my own drawings that I have to do. So I'm just going here. And for right now, I'm just putting in the areas that I notice to be of the darker tones. 
but I will come in with another pencil uh, if I have to to go even darker. This is just for me to get a rough idea as to where the darker tones are, the mid tones, and uh, trying to leave the white of the paper showing for the areas where you have the reflections of the water. So um, that's what I'm doing here. I'm using just a regular HB pencil because this is simply my initial sketch for right now. And um, this is not actually going to be my, my drawing, you might say. This is, I'm gonna have a lot of shading and everything to do and then using an eraser to take things out. So that's what I'm gonna be basically demonstrating. But Right now, I'm just doing my initial sketch and marking the areas that uh, uh, have the uh, darker tones. And that's what you want to look for. Where are the darker tones? Where are the lighter tones? And kind of mark those out. It makes it easier later on when you've got to go in there and start shading to know where those little details are. Um, I won't get exact, uh, again, because I was rushing through this and I'm not using the grid or anything, and I'm not really measuring anything. So I'm kind of eyeballing things roughly. But, you know, as long as I get close, I think you'll get the idea of, of how this is done. Okay, I'm using a 9XXB pencil uh, to start in the uh, bottom right corner here because that's the darkest area. And I just need to get some dark material in there. Now, I probably would have rather have gone with charcoal for this. Uh, the paper I was using had a lot of texture to it, so I really had to work it. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll be able to do what I need to with this 9XXB, but I just want to say that uh, I could have blended a charcoal pencil way better than the 9XXB, but I'll still be able to achieve it here. And I'm using a paper blender here, and I'm going to do a lot of my drawing with that paper blender because it's a matter of laying down that material first that I'm doing with the 9XXB, looking for where those darker areas are, and then where the lighter areas are, I'm going to blend out from the dark area into the lighter area, pushing that material out with the paper blender. And you'll see that you can do a whole lot of drawing with just the paper blender before you have to reload it again and again. So uh, that's one of the techniques I would use uh, in achieving the, the face check texture here as we're working around the uh, water drops and so forth. So I'm going to be doing the face first before I get in there and start kind of uh, drawing in the water part or bringing out the highlights and so forth. And so that's what I'm doing at this moment. It's just pushing that uh, 9XXB graphite carbon hybrid mix all over the paper there and then adding uh, more of the 9XXB in the darker areas and be very light handed in the lighter areas so that um, I can show a gradient going from dark to light uh, for this particular skin texture.
Now I want to point out something here um, that uh, I think is important. If you look at my drawing, and you'll notice that it's got like speckles uh, where I'm currently blending and everything. And uh, while it doesn't look bad, it actually looks pretty good in, you know, in trying to replicate what I'm seeing in the reference photo, uh, it's not smooth. And this is two things. One is the 9XXB doesn't provide the smoothest um, blend that I've noticed of the dark uh, pencils. If you use a carbon pencil or, or a soft charcoal pencil, for example, you can get much smoother textures with a paper blender uh, or a cotton, uh, one of those cotton swab, what do you call those, earbuds, Q-tips, uh, you know, than you can with the 9XXB. The 9XB gives kind of a grainy look, I've noticed. And then what kind of makes it even worse for me here in this case is the paper that I'm using is a mixed media paper from Canson uh, because as a demonstration, I, I didn't want to use one of my big sheets that are expensive uh, of the Bristol Smooth. So I'm using, this is just a seven by 10 inch sheet, a 98 pound uh, from Canson. It's called mixed media. And it's a little grainier. It has a little pattern to it. Um, texture to it. It's not as smooth as I would normally want to do uh, or use, but um, it will work. I mean, as far as I'll be able to still demonstrate, but I wanted you, I wanted to point out that if you'll, if you notice the little speckles, you know, that's the difference is that uh, your paper that you choose and the pencils you choose will have a lot to do with just how uh, smooth you'll be able to get your uh, drawing if you find that you want smooth and usually when you're doing photo realism uh, a smooth surface on the paper and using uh, pencils that will provide a smooth blend are really really important now here you see that I'm starting on the water drips and I'm going in there I'm, I was darkening in the areas uh, that are darker uh, on the reference photo and then I'm going to after I do that I'm going to come in with the AFMAT uh, rechargeable electric eraser it's a nice handy little eraser uh, I'll show you in a moment here when I get to that where you don't have to replace the battery uh, it's really nice it's a rechargeable and uh, it really fits really nice in my hand and like a pencil would and and I go in there and I just used it to bring out the highlights of the water and also uh, it allowed me to do a lot of control with the texture of the skin but uh, I'll show you in a moment here we're, we're pretty close to coming to that part right now I'm getting the dark areas around you know there there is a slight shadow um, and if you look at the reference you can see on the outside of the water there's, there's the electric eraser, and I've got the small little eraser nib on there. This thing also takes the thicker one, which is really cool. Uh, I really like this electric eraser, and if you're interested in it, by the way, I'll put a link down in the description below. Now you can see here I'm bringing out uh, some of the lighter areas of the water, just looking at the reference. Now, I'm not going to get it exact um, as I freehand this thing, but I did want to uh, I did want to get you know as close to, as possible. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm pressing the button, and then I'm letting go of it before I even touch the paper, so that I'm actually touching the paper when it's winding down, and it, and the paper will actually cause it to stop spinning. And this way, I was able to control how bright uh, my little marks are, so I can do the skin textures here. And as you can see, that I'm just looking at the ref and I'm duplicating where I see those little white dots uh, on the reference photo and I'm duplicating it with the AFMAT uh, rechargeable here and it's really handy I'm just going through there just like if I was drawing and and I was just able to really get in there and get a lot of the nice textures here I'm doing a what I call a bounce erasing uh, on the skin now I'm back on the water here so uh, when we get back on the the skin here, I'll, I'll 
I'll mention it again. But I, what I do is I, I just bounce the um, eraser off of the skin so I'm getting those pores, type of pore textures uh, to emulate what I'm seeing on the reference photo. You can see the little white dots and everything. And now here I'm kind of hitting the, uh, I'm spinning it and letting it go, spinning it and letting it go. And you see how I'm getting the textures to match? It's really kind of cool. Okay, here I'm just touching up with an HB pencil because uh, it's very subtle and if I see anything that I need to do that's very subtle on the water here, uh, I could do it with the pencil rather than 9XXB which would be a little bit too dark for that. So I'm just doing touch-ups, trying to mimic what I can and then I'll lighten things up with the eraser again in a moment. And again, I, I do want to emphasize that I did this awfully fast. I mean, I I, I didn't even spend 30 minutes on this thing. I, I went through this really, really fast and I was very pleased with the results uh, in light, you know, even though I had things going against me, which was, you know, the paper and the pencil I used was not the best choice. And here again, I was using the eraser to, to kind of lighten up uh, some of the dark areas around the water that was streaming down. I just kind of, without you notice I'm not powering it, I'm just using the tip and lightening up areas uh, that I notice on the uh, reference photo. Now I'm using the 9X XB here just to give it a little bit of a dark hint uh, where you would normally have shadow areas. Um, and then if I see it's a little too dark, I'll, I'll just touch it with the um, eraser again and try to get it to at least get close to the original. I want to say that the paper blender is an exceptional tool for really just blending things and you can draw with it and uh, it's great when you're you know working on photorealistic stuff. As you can see I'm going a long ways with that paper blender and now I'm going to lighten some areas up here with the um, electric racer and I'm just touching it and spinning it and touching it just getting those little areas in there. And here I'm just lightening areas without even turning the motor on. Now skin texture, you see I'm just tapping the button and, and then I let it go before I even touch the skin. And look how it's giving me this texture. It's really, really cool. Okay, well that's it. And uh, you know, I, I got the left one a lot better than the right one there. I could have gone a little lighter but uh, you know, it, it looks close enough for the demonstration. I just wanted to give you an idea of how you would draw water coming down the side of a face and also uh, to give you a, a little peek at my uh, new uh, rechargeable electric eraser uh, from AFMETS. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this uh, quick demonstration, uh, maybe learned a couple of things. And uh, again, if you're interested in uh, getting yourself this uh, rechargeable electric eraser, I'll have a link down in the description below. I don't make any money from it whatsoever. It is a really nice tool. Uh, so I, I wanted to go ahead and feature that in this particular video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe so that you will be informed of my future videos. And a like if you like it. And I will see you in the next video.